So I just saw The Sound of Freedom. And don't worry, I bootlegged it. And look, before I go any further, yes, child trafficking is a terrible thing and we should go after anybody who is involved in it and are taking kids. So let's do that, Let, okay, let's do that. But this movie does tell the story of a conspiracy theorist where the main actor is a conspiracy theorist. And you know, Tim Ballard, the real one was like, yeah, I got Jim Caviezel, Jesus, to play him in the movie because it has a real Jesus undertone. Even he said it's all about Jesus. Which is why this whole movie has this whole white savior tone. Like the dad, you know, he's upset that his kids are missing, but he apparently does nothing to try and find them. It's all the white guy trying to do all the work. And even though in the movie there are white guys, you know, purchasing kids, the main villains are all like black Latinas and really indigenous looking people. And even the real Tim Ballard said that most kids that are trafficked end up in the United States. So why didn't this film deal with, you know, more with the white guys who are trafficking kids in the US? It all had to be the Latin American bad guys. I mean, the real Tim Ballard worked with Donald Trump. You didn't ask him about Epstein's Island and all those kids that were trafficked there. Because this film seems to be about the United States, how great its white agents are good at going to other countries and solving their crimes for them. Oh, and by the way, at the end, he finds the kids and they all go back to Honduras. He doesn't even mention that they can apply for a T visa. Because, you know, when you've been human trafficked, like the whole movie was about, you get status in the U.S. because of it. But nope, don't talk about that. But nope, this film's gonna be about how we need more Homeland Security agents like Tim Ballard. Oh, and by the way, Border Patrol agents, police officers, and Homeland Security have all been involved in human trafficking. So if you're gonna make a movie and go after human trafficking, you know, go after everybody involved. But look, at the end of the day, this is a really shitty film with really shitty acting that's been spread around by a QAnon conspiracy theorist funded by QAnon conspiracy theorists and acted by a QAnon conspiracy theorist. And to anybody who's like, oh, they don't want you to see this movie because they don't want you to know. You can literally Google everything about child trafficking. There's news stories every day. If you feel like you need a film to learn, oh my God, read a book.